Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and in this video I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Git and cover both the GitHub and Bitbucket platforms. So first of all I want to cover why use Git. So I've created a previous video that you might have seen regarding uh, source control videos but in this video we're going to be primarily focusing on Git. Okay so the first thing I'm going to talk about is why use Git and the first point here is that Git is the most popular source control platform available today. And while that may not always be, you know, a good thing to go with the most popular option, in this case as a developer, it can really benefit you to use the most popular platform because if you get a job at a company and they use Git in order to develop their projects, then it can really be beneficial to you to already have knowledge around Git, how it works and how to use it efficiently. The next point I have here is that Git is easy to use maintain and gives us a lot of flexibility. So in the past version control systems have not really been that easy to use or maintain and Git is sort of an answer to that. It is really easy to use, maintain and the flexibility that Git gives you is really really powerful. So the next point is Git is available on several high quality free platforms. And I've already said we're going to cover those two plat we're going to cover two of those platforms in this video. The first being GitHub, which allows developers to set up free accounts with minimal restrictions, and Bitbucket, which also allows for free accounts for developers. Git has strong support for nonlinear development. And I'm not going to go into what nonlinear development is in this video. We'll cover that in a later video. But it's important to know that you do have the option for nonlinear development and that Git actually supports nonlinear development, which is really, really great. Git also efficiently handles large projects, and we are primarily a game development channel. And game development projects are really large. The you know, we can have a whole lot of assets, um, materials, and just all sorts of stuff inside of a game development project. And those can very easily become really, really heavy on disk space. And Git is really efficient in actually handling these large projects. And the final point here is that Git allows for easily merging branches with several really helpful algorithms. So Git kind of does this dynamically, but there are several ways to merge branches together. And we're not going to get into what a merge is or what a branch is here, but it's just important to know that like later on when you're watching these videos, you'll be able to know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so the next thing is what is Git? So Git is a version control system for tracking changes to files and coordinating work on those files among multiple people or developers. So basically Git is a system that allows us as developers to easily work on projects together and to easily maintain our software projects. Typically, when most people talk about Git, they are actually referring to a platform like GitHub or Bitbucket. So what this means is that Git is actually a system that several platforms have integrated to make things easier for developers. In the next couple of slides, I'm going to create a quick review of both the GitHub and the Bitbucket platforms. Okay, so for our GitHub review, I've got pros and cons. So let's go through the pros first. Our first pro is that GitHub is by far the most popular version control system. And again, like I said earlier, you know, as a developer, it is helpful to choose one of the more popular systems. GitHub does have a free plan. It has an issue tracker within your project. You can easily complete branch comparison views. And GitHub has a native application for both Windows and Mac. So what are the cons with GitHub? Well, the first con is that GitHub's free tier does not allow for private repositories. And a private repository is basically a repository of code or a project that others cannot see or get access to. So if you have a free account on GitHub, then all of your repositories will be public, which means that people can get access to them and get access to the code within. The other con I have for GitHub here is that it does not support SVN. While GitHub does not support SVN, I do believe they have the ability to import either Mercurial or SVN projects into Git. Now for our Bitbucket review. Again, we're going to go pros first. So Bitbucket also has a free tier, which is really useful. Bitbucket does allow for both Mercurial and Git repos, which is another plus. Bitbucket has several integrations, but one that's really important is that it integrates well with Jira, which is basically a project management system. Jira is another really popular application out there that's widely used today. 
Bitbucket does allow for unlimited private repos. You can also complete branch comparisons and commit history within Bitbucket. And Bitbucket has a native app for both Mac and Windows. So what are the cons of Bitbucket? Well, the cons are that the interface can be a little daunting inside of Bitbucket. And you'll see the interface when we create our video going through the Bitbucket signup. But initially, the you know when you're first getting into it, the interface can be a little tricky to navigate. And the second con I've got here is that repo allocation is based on the number of users. So if you're just creating an account for you, then it's not an issue. But they have their repos allocated based on the number of people you have in your team. So let's say you have five users. Well, that's fine. You can still, I believe you can still use your free uh, accounts. But if you have six people, then you have to step a tier up. And at that point, it's no longer free. So which of these platforms should you choose? Should you go with GitHub or should you go with Bitbucket? Well, to be totally honest, it's completely up to you. You have the freedom of choice and we're going to walk through the sign up and management processes for both of these platforms. There are several questions that you may want to ask yourself before making this decision. Uh, such as, what do your team members use? With decisions like these, it is important to take into account what others in your company or other team members use. You don't want to be the only one using a platform and possibly causing strife within your team. Do you need support for Mercurial? If you do, then you're probably going to have to go with Bitbucket or another platform. And do you need free private repos? Again, if you do, then you will have to go with Bitbucket. Of course, the cost for paid accounts is not that much per month but for some people you know any additional costs can be a little daunting so you know we're going to cover these tutorials going through as if you're using a free account and signing up for a free account with you so that you can see the process and follow along okay that's going to do it for this video as always thank you for watching drop us a like and subscribe